Xbox Series X is the next flagship console coming from Microsoft, and we've just been treated to a whole host of new information thanks to our friends at Digital Foundry. From machine learning HDR implementation to how backwards compatibility will work on it, we've compiled all the new info into this easy to digest little video for you to watch. First things first, the tech specs. We now know that it will feature 16GB GDDR6 memory, a custom 1TB solid state drive, have a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray drive and will even be able to run certain games at 120fps. To top it all off, you'll also be able to easily expand the storage thanks to these clever little 1TB expandable storage cards which look very similar to a memory card from way back when. Safe to say then that this is indeed quite a step up from the Xbox One X, let alone the base Xbox One console. In fact, the Xbox Series X is at least twice as powerful as the Xbox One X. Now HDR has been an ever-growing popular feature since Xbox One S, so of course Microsoft has got nothing but good news when it comes to it in the Xbox Series X. The next-gen console will have a state-of-the-art machine learning algorithm to dynamically add authentic HDR to older titles so that fans can enjoy these classic games in a whole new light. Microsoft ATG principal software engineer Claude Marie said that this HDR tech can be applied to all games theoretically and use the nearly 20-year-old original Xbox title Fusion Frenzy to demonstrate this new tech in action. In the world of PC gaming, you might have heard the mention of ray tracing, which is essentially a feature that creates a graphical image based on virtual light and how that lighting source would interact with the environment. In layman's terms, it makes the lighting in games look damn realistic, and it even works wonderfully in simple looking games like Minecraft. The Digital Foundry report describes an early Xbox Series X Minecraft ray tracing demo based on the Nvidia demonstration we saw at last year's Gamescom. Many fans were a bit wary of whether Microsoft would indeed be able to achieve the same level of ray tracing that Nvidia got running on its rather expensive RTX graphic cards, but it looks as though they might have pulled it off. Microsoft has made use of RDNA2 architecture, which is the code name for a GPU microarchitecture from AMD, to effectively map ray traversal. The result is a simulation of the way light works in the real world, adding depth and ambience to selected games. If you're much like me, then a lot of that technical jargon might have just flown over your head, but essentially what Richard Ledbetter from Digital Foundry is confirming here is that the Xbox Series X will enable games to have some incredible lighting in them to immerse gamers into the worlds that they dive into. Muzzle flashes like never before, lightning that will light up the whole room, games are set to look absolutely stunning come the next generation. Now we've been banging on about how much power the Xbox Series X will come packed with, but you might be surprised to hear that the system memory is only double of what it was in its predecessor. In saying that though, it actually doesn't really even matter. Previous console generations saw memory increase by a factor of 16, and although the Xbox Series X's system memory is only twice that of the Xbox One, thanks to a new technique called sampler feedback streaming, that's actually more than enough as this new system aims to cut down on memory wastage when loading textures. With the Xbox Series X leaning heavily on SSD storage, the next-gen console will be able to make better use of its internal memory, which is proven with the new Quick Resume feature, which allows players to quickly resume multiple games that they might have on the go. So although the Xbox Series X's memory is only double of what the Xbox One was, it's still set to be a pretty powerful console. Earlier we briefly touched upon how HDR support might work with backwards compatible games, but there's actually a bit more to what the Xbox Series X can do with some games from the last generation. Xbox Series X will be fully compatible with all Xbox games that run on Xbox One, and when it comes to games from the previous generation, some of them might even run at much higher resolutions. An example of this is Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which when played on Series X resulted in a 1080p game rendering at native 4K. This is all without the original development team needing to be involved at all. Thankfully, Microsoft isn't stopping there as the compatibility program lead for Xbox, Peggy Lowe, indicates that the team is currently looking at other areas of improvement for older games on Xbox Series X, so we could potentially see games like Rise and Sunset Overdrive look better than ever on this next-gen console. While it was disappointing that these games didn't get upgraded for Xbox One X, our dreams of more Xbox One games in 4K should soon be a reality. 
We've now got a lot of info on the upcoming Xbox One X, but there are two big things we still don't know the price and the release date. Series X comes across as a successor of sorts to Xbox One X, a machine that launched at £450. Technology has evolved in the last three years, but Series X is offering so much more tech that matching that will be quite a challenge. We know that we should be seeing the Series X in stores by the end of the year, but when exactly and at what price remains a secret that hopefully will be revealed over the summer. Although this is a quick summary of what fans can expect to see in the Xbox Series X, we'll likely be hearing more on it in the coming days and weeks. Suffice to say though, we can expect something pretty powerful releasing later this year.